Okay, we're going to make a veluti here. We're going to make our fish veluti. So what I have is I have a half pint of fish stock. I have 25 grams of margarine, 25 grams of flour. So I'm going to make a roux first. So in there, my butter. I'm going to melt that. And we're going to add to that then is my flour. Equal quantities of the fat and the flour. And then we're going to cook out the roux so our sauce isn't floury. And then we will gradually add our stock. So in with the flour there. So you bring that together. And we're going to cook that out and then we'll slowly add this, our stock. Okay, so we have our roux here which is now cooked out. And there's three types of roux as we know. There's a white, a blonde and a brown. And we're using a uh, wooden spoon here. You would use a wooden spoon or you could use a spatula, but you wouldn't use metal. Or you could use a whisk, which is Teflon coated, stuff like that. But traditionally you would use a wooden spoon. So the secret to making a roux or, a, or even a bechamel for that reason is, uh, for that matter, is you slowly add your stock and you work it in. You don't add, it, add any more stock until it's all been incorporated. Okay, so we just gradually add our stock here. And I will gently just loosen as it absorbs the stock and we will have our finished velouté. Okay, so we're just about to add the last of our stock there. We work it in, and then we just check the nice smooth sauce there, as you can see. Okay, so we just, at the end then, you check your seasoning, you check your consistency, and then you have your nice fish velouté ready to use to finish sauces, or whatever the case may be. Velouté sauce.